words here, uh, working on studying Yule Gok Pattern. So this is the instructional DVD for Yule Gok Pattern. Um, several new techniques in Yule Gok Pattern that you've not done before in Chunji, Dangun, Dosan, Wanyo. Um, uh, so I'll do some of the new techniques first and then we'll do the instructional part of the, of the form. Uh, one of the first new things you'll see in this pattern done is it, you, you've kind of done it but not necessarily this format. You'll see how we slide out and we stretch into the chamber for a punch. We do it on both sides. So as the leg comes out, the hand kind of reaches slowly. Then we drop into the next move. Um, a couple of different reasons for doing that. Just look at it this way. Very simple explanation. A very artsy way to get into your move. <laughs> a beautiful way to step out, prepare, and explode into the next technique, explode into the punch. Um, the next new technique that we do is called a checking block, a C block. Some people call it a hooking block also. But essentially what's happened is the hooking block, there's a punch coming in, some, a stick coming in, and there's a lot of different ways to hooking block where you can hooking block down, hooking block sideways, hooking block at any angle in between those two. But in Yule Gok Pattern, the hooking block starts at the opposite shoulder and comes not up and down, not sideways, but right in between, and then ends up out in front of you. You can see that's right in front of my throat. It's not what we're doing. We're not reaching out and grabbing somebody by the throat. It's like we're hooking someone's arm on top right there. And this move is done with both arms. So you'll see the reaction arm is out straight, and the hand that's going to do the hooking block is on top of the, that shoulder there. But then we just come straight in like that. And that hand is out, so it tends to one follow the other. So if there's a left hooking block, you'll be followed by a right one. Sometimes you'll see these hooking blocks done full speed. Sometimes you'll see them done in patterns, done very slowly. Uh, sometimes you might see them done a little bit more circular and come out sideways like that. So for what we, I want you guys to practice is kind of go in between those two and drop that hooking block straight down in front of you. Okay, uh, the next new technique you've done in one step you've never done in a pattern before, but it's a reverse elbow strike. You reach with the right hand, pull the left elbow, reach with the left elbow, pull into the, uh, pull, reach with the left hand, pull into the right elbow. Um, the next new technique, you've done square blocks before, but you've not done them with open hands, so just open your hands for the open hand square block. Um, you've done the bridge spear hand with your right hand. There is a left bridge spear hand in this pattern. Most people struggle with that. There's a dosan pattern. You've done a whole bunch of right spear hands with that practice, but the first time you do that left one, it feels kind of awkward. So if you'll just block with the right, bring the left on top, block with the right, bring the left on top, and get some reps doing that, then that'll become just as natural as doing that right block or left block in the right spear hand. Um, there's uh, two more uh, new techniques. Um, you've done a back fist before. We've done those in one steps. Uh, the back fist where we make an X and we bring around and make a good snap for the back fist. The stance that that back fist is done in is called an X stance. And that's going to be where we put one foot behind the other. The foot that's behind you'll see is up in the air. And what's happening is that foot is kind of catching the body weight so that, you know, if I turn sideways and do that on one leg, I might fall over. So that right foot that comes up is kind of a kickstand, kind of keeps me from falling over. Uh, the last new technique is called a double forearm block. I've heard this called a son su block before. I'm not sure what the Japanese name in the Korean martial art. I'm just saying I don't ask questions sometimes. I just do the techniques. Double forearm block is like this. It's just like an inner forearm block. We just bring the other hand around. So what was explained to me that you're, you're, you're blocking two moves, that there's a round kick coming at you and you're blocking that one, and this hand is coming in because a lot of times when you block one round kick, there's another one coming at this angle. So it's kind of covering that low line angle right there. So the inner forearm block is typically done in front of the shoulder. With the double forearm block, this one's done a little bit more in front of you with the other hand in this position. So you'll see that double forearm block done like this. There, and it swings around like that. So you see how the hands are more controlling the uh, center line on those uh, on that double double inner forearm block. Okay, let's do Yule Gok pattern. Let's get this down where we can uh, get some get some good solid reps on this pattern. All right, Yule Gok pattern starts in parallel ready stance, just like Chun Ji, Dan Goon, and Do San did. So we're back to back to here with the ready stance. First move in Yule Gok, the left foot 
steps out slowly as you bring your left hand up and prepare to drop. And right punch, drop, and left punch. Then the left foot goes to the right foot, live stepping, step together, step back out. The right foot kind of slides out as we go into the horse stance and lift and we go into the left punch and right punch. Don't do this in the pattern. I'm going to center up a little bit and get a little bit more in front of the camera. All right, so on the next move, the right hand is out. Just do the last punch. The next move, set of moves, goes to the right. So the right foot gathers, make an X. The right foot steps into a right front stance at a 45 degree angle with a right inner forearm block. The left leg does a front kick. We land forward into a left front stance with a front punch and a reverse punch. Same thing on the other side. We want the left leg to gather and the left leg steps out into a left front stance with a left inner forearm block, right front kick, land forward into a right front stance at a 45 degree angle, right punch, left punch. From there, the right foot moves over into a right front stance with a right hooking block. We follow that with a left hooking block, then a right front punch. I'm going to scoot back in so you can see the stance so you don't do this in the pattern. I just want to Stay in, in, the, in the frame of the camera here. The next move, we step forward into a left front stance and make the left checking block or left hooking block. Then we make a right reverse hooking block followed with a left front punch. From there, we step forward into a right front stance. Gah! Right front punch and yell. From there, the left foot picks up. We step forward with it first. Hands come behind us. And we go just like in one yoke. We go into a bending stance with a double fist guarding block. From there, we're going to pivot, left side kick, land forward into a left front stance with a right reverse elbow strike. From there, the right foot slides back to the left foot. Then the right foot picks up into a bending stance. So we make the double guarding block. Then we make the right side kick. We land forward into a right front stance with a left reverse elbow. From there, the left leg goes to the right leg. Then the left leg steps out into a back L stance. With the open hand square block, we step forward into a right front stance with a right spear hand, bridge spear hand. The right foot spins all the way around to the right into a back L stance with the open hand square block. The left foot steps forward into a left front stance with a left bridge spear hand. From there, the left foot gathers and the left foot goes to the back of the room into a front stance with a left outer forearm block, right reverse punch. Then we step forward into a right front stance with a right outer forearm block, reach out, and a left reverse punch. From there, we make an X with the left hand on the outside. The left foot steps forward, and then the right foot steps behind in that X stance with a left back fist. From there, we spin around backwards, and we go right foot into a right front stance with a double forearm block. Then the right foot steps to the left foot, the left foot steps out into a front stance with a double forearm block. From there, the left foot steps back to parallel ready stance, and the left leg goes back to the right leg. Okay, that's a Yule Gok pattern. Let me, uh, let me do that pattern for you full speed so you can see uh, as good a speed as I can do anyway. Full speed ahead for a Yule Gok pattern so you can see some of, the, uh, some of the timing and the way I'd like you to practice this pattern. 